For many health conditions, including the group of rare chronic blood cancers known as myeloproliferative neoplasms, or MPNs, the journey from diagnosis to disease management begins with a variety of tests that help provide healthcare professionals insights about your health. Some of these tests are designed to look more closely at your blood, your bone marrow, and your DNA, as well as certain organs. Depending on where you are on your MPN journey, your healthcare professional may begin with a review of your medical history and a physical exam. Reviewing your medical history is a good opportunity to talk about your health and discuss any symptoms or changes that you may be concerned about. A physical exam allows your healthcare professional to examine various parts of your body, including certain organs, for signs of disease. For example, feeling or palpating the abdominal area may help a healthcare professional detect an enlarged spleen, which is a common finding in NPNs. During a physical exam, your healthcare professional may see things that point to an NPN. However, specific laboratory tests and or imaging tests are needed to confirm the diagnosis. Because NPNs are diseases of the bone marrow, your healthcare professional may want to take a closer look at your blood cells and your bone marrow. Bone marrow is the soft, spongy tissue inside the bone where blood cells are made. One of the first blood tests that your healthcare professional may order is a laboratory test called a complete blood count, or CBC. It's called this because it measures, or counts, how many blood cells you have in a given sample of blood. Your blood sample will be sent to a laboratory for evaluation. The CBC includes red blood cell, RBC count, white blood cell, WBC count, platelet, PLT count, hemoglobin, HGB, and hematocrit, HCT. Hemoglobin and hematocrit are two key measures for or related to RBCs. Each of the three classic NPNs, polycythemia vera, PV, essential thrombocythemia, ET, and myelofibrosis, MF, are known for producing an abnormal number of certain blood cells. In fact, people with PV often have high red blood cell counts, although other types of blood cells may also be higher than normal. In people with ET, the bone marrow makes too many platelets. People with MF often have low hemoglobin levels, which can indicate having too few RBCs, also known as anemia. The results of your blood tests will include a set of numbers called a reference range, which is based on the normal range found in most people. It is important to be aware of the individual target range that your healthcare professional has set for you, as this can help you understand if your results are above or below what would be considered normal for you. If your results are outside of the normal range, your healthcare professional can help you understand why and help determine if additional attention is required. Don't be afraid to ask questions or to seek additional clarification if there's something you don't understand. You may want to request copies of these reports for your own records. Remember, this is your MPN journey, and it's important to be an advocate for your own care. Because blood tests are used to both diagnose and monitor MPNs, having an ongoing record of your blood counts empowers you to have more informed discussions with your care team and helps you take a more active role in your care. You can track your blood counts using an online tracker tool like the one available at mpnsymptomtracker.com expert. In addition to blood tests, your healthcare professional may also use other tests to help diagnose or monitor your MPN. A bone marrow exam may be ordered to check your bone marrow for abnormalities. In a bone marrow aspiration, a hollow needle is used to remove a liquid sample of bone marrow cells. In a bone marrow biopsy, a wider needle removes a small piece of solid bone that contains the marrow. Bone marrow tests are also used to check for the presence of scar tissue or fibrosis in the bone marrow. Fibrosis in the bone marrow is a common finding in people with myelofibrosis. Bone marrow tests are one of the most definitive tests used to diagnose an NPN and may be repeated later in the NPN journey to check for signs of disease progression. Bone marrow aspiration and biopsy samples are usually taken from a patient's hip 
or pelvic bone after the area has been properly numbed with medicine to help minimize pain and discomfort. They are usually performed in a hospital, clinic, or healthcare professional's office. Bone marrow samples are examined under a microscope. The results of your bone marrow test will appear in a report. For people with NPNs, some of the findings may include, in PV, too many cells in the bone marrow, especially too many cells that make red blood cells. In ET, too many of the cells that make platelets. In MF, fibrous scar tissue is seen in the bone marrow. Be sure to discuss these results with your healthcare professional and ask for copies for your own records. In addition to blood and bone marrow tests, your healthcare professional may also use specific genetic tests to find out whether or not you have certain gene mutations. Mutations are small changes in the DNA that may cause proteins in the cells to act abnormally. There are several gene mutations found in patients with NPNs, so healthcare professionals may use genetic testing to look for these. Gene mutations found in patients with NPNs may include JAK2, CalR, Mipple. Be sure to ask your healthcare professional how long it will take to receive your results, as the timing may vary by lab. When your results are ready, your healthcare professional will receive a report that will document which mutations, if any, are present. Be sure to discuss the results of any genetic tests with your healthcare professional. Imaging tests are sometimes used to take a closer and more detailed look inside the body for signs of new or worsening disease. There are a variety of imaging tests available. They include ultrasound, CT, computed tomography scan, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging scans. In people with NPNs, imaging tests such as ultrasound, CT scan, or MRI may help healthcare professionals evaluate the size of your spleen. Now that you understand some of the medical tests used to diagnose and monitor MPNs, it's important to keep track of your results. Remember, keeping an ongoing record of your health is important. Not only does it help you better understand the status of your MPN over time, but it also gives you the knowledge to effectively partner with your care team and have informed and meaningful discussions. And that empowers you to become your own health advocate and take a more active role in your care.